nothing is impossible in the world if you have your firm dedication and determination good day students today let's see the fourth lesson the summit this is told by sir edmund hillary a team of six men gathered at camp under the guidance of colonel hunt edmund hillary and tenzing norgay were the pair of climbers chosen by john hunt the expedition set up base camp in march 1953 what do you mean by expedition that is um, in tamil you can say payanam that is uh, a group of person they decided to have a journey for for a purpose two of his men whose men colonel hunt attempted the climb but they returned back when their oxygen system failed so hunt directed hillary and tenzing to go to the summit on may 29 both of them got up early and ate well hillary warmed his boots and they carried ice axe crampons crampons means spike shoes which is used to climb mountains and ice hammers okay now they dressed themselves up with connected to their mask with the oxygen cylinder which was very much necessary for their survival though there was heavy snow tensing and hillary began to climb they reached its crest about 28000 feet the soft snow on ridge was difficult and dangerous ridge means the landslide of the, in the mountain the snow was firm they could cut it with a axes that is ice axe ice axe means the instrument which is used to cut the ice it gave hope to them they managed to climb with their oversized high altitude boots they came to a tiny hollow hollow means is a hole found two oxygen of bottles by the earlier climbers before the two persons um, they climbed and it was left by those people they kept them safe so that they would need them on their return journey when they reached the south summit hillary felt a sense of freedom and they relaxed for some time using ice axe they bit into the steep slope of ridge at this time they were comfortable with the rope around them they saw ice cornices that is ice is hanging upwards which were very huge in size and so they had to carefully cut a line of steps where the snow met the rocks on the west the ridge curved away to the right seemed never in ending it is they are continuously it is um, they are uh, their journey is going on continuously they couldn't find where the top was they cleared the way with ice axe in the firm snow made them to move on top and filled with some hope of success the ridge has taken them two and a half hours but it seemed like a lifetime they made few more beating of the ice axe and they reached the top that is the great summit both of them were delighted to see the great summit they shot down a photograph at the north ridge the photograph portrayed the north col and the old route which had been made famous by the struggles of those great climbers of 1920s and 1930s at the north ridge hillary became he became clumsy whether is very weak weak fingered and slow moving due to lack of oxygen so he quickly replaced his oxygen set tensing made a hole in the snow and placed a bar of chocolate a packet of biscuits and a handful of lollies for what purpose he has kept the in a hole as a token of love and gift to god that he meant uh, that is god has uh, Uh, made his uh, journey very smooth so he placed there
Hillary too made a small hole and kept the crucifix. What do you mean by crucifix? Cross used by the Christians. Crucifix in the hole which was given by John Hunt. Wasting no time, they moved back on the south peak while coming down the ridge of south call. Just short of the tent, Hillary's oxygen ran out. Going to be emptied. They moved to the reserve cylinders on the ridge. They were given a warm welcome by others. That is other mountaineers. Other rest their colleagues. They went to their tent with delight and entered their sleeping bags. They made their adventure successful. Each and every experience will teach us something. Climbing mountain will teach you patience, persistence and gratitude. Thank you children.